How do Australians view Indians in Australia? People from Quora are sharing their experiences. John Smith commented. I found the Indian and Pakistani guys at work don't really mix with anyone else, for they are made to feel welcome. I've never seen an Indian person celebrate Australia Day or much get involved with any community over than their own festivals, which we love to attend and support. Also, their public transport etiquette needs to adapt to our culture, not theirs. No need to push and shit. Wait your turn. We don't go to India and expect them to adapt to us. Jessica Delapa Soros added. The first wave of Indians who came to Australia were Christians with westernized culture. They came directly or via UK after India gained independence and completely assimilated with Australian society. So they are well-respected citizens. Then there are other Indians that have not blended in, bringing their cultural norms, which could be quite shocking for Australians. Such as jumping the queue, being late to an appointment, bragging or showing off. Asking too many personal questions. Eh, yeah, madam, madam, are you married? Are you married, madam? No. Answer the question. No, I'm still sleeping. Talking their own language when in a company, no one understands them. Talking loudly in public places. So there are refined Indians and Indians who have suddenly gained wealth and behave in a foolish manner. Anonymous person commented. So from what I have seen, Indians in Australia are good at being polite, cheap labor, extra courteous towards whites, and rarely, and rarely involved in criminal activities. And they are bad at lack of manners, staring at strangers, touching, personal hygiene, and no attention to the physique. Speaking loudly in a local language in public areas, offices. Andrew Herman was amused by shocking facts about India he didn't know about and shared his thoughts too. I was told that there are 20 different languages in India. These are major ones. Actually, the real number is 2,000 or so, including dialects. Naturally, I didn't expect Indians to add one more and speak English. But I was really shocked to find out that broken English is spoken even in rural areas there. Not to mention big cities such as Mumbai or Delhi. It is very hard to believe for a countryman who knows only one language. Here is a comment from David Arhart who consider himself as well-traveled, born and raised Australian. There is a mild racism and xenophobia that you would expect from a country of 20 million population that is transitioning from its colonial European past to an Asian future, with giant source of immigration. To give you an example, my neighbor told me that when he learned there was a house for sale in our street, he hoped Indian family wouldn't move in. His concern was that the next suburb nearby has a large Indian population and this will cause lower property prices. The irony that he is a first generation Australian Chinese and someone probably said the same thing about him. Basically, Australia is a country of immigrants and we all know that. There is also a very recognizable so-called ugly Australian. Ignorant, loud and always drunk tourist. He dislikes everything he can't understand and causes troubles for other tourists. I've worked with Indians in offices and demolition sites. There were some I liked and some I didn't. First I felt and keep around and whose habits were unpleasant. But you know what? I feel embarrassed that in fact I am indeed rough and loud too. So I play up my strength, my sincere desire to engage with my new Indian friends. I get my smokes from a Sikh. I buy my booze from a Sikh. One of my fave takeaways is Indian Sikh. I eat mostly dal, roti, naan. All the Indians that walk down my street smile and say namaste to me. I always stop and chat with folks I don't know, most of which are Indians, Lebanese, Chinese, Turkish and more. Besides, I find Indian women not just lovely looking but kind and friendly as well. All the blogs that do food deliveries down the street greet me sometimes asking for a smoke. So I love Indian folks, especially six. So it was few opinions of people from Quora, nothing more and nothing less. In this video, I didn't intend to offend someone. Wishing everyone good health and good day. See you later.